Okay, so like I went in the grass just to shiny hunt. No, I didn't. wasn't shiny hunting. I was just gonna go train a little bit, but now there's a shiny, and I think I'm gonna try to catch it. This is insane. Literally the first encounter that I had. What the heck? All right, I went ahead and named this shiny Agron after Catherine. I. I don't know if I feel right using it. What the heck? It just happened again. I don't get it. I don't, I honestly, like, don't get me wrong. I'm not upset about it. It's just what I do with all these shiny Pokemon. I can't not catch them. What the heck? I'm gonna name after Costas though. My gosh.
friends, Quill here. Welcome back to the Pokemon Black Randomizer Nuzlocke here on the channel. If you enjoyed the series just as much as I am, make sure you hit that like button down below, click the subscribe button, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the action. If you missed the last episode, make sure you go back and watch that. It was a really, really bad episode, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we lost three Pokemon to Bryson, and uh, we went from a team of uh, legendaries and really great Pokemon to a team of... Uh, other Pokemon, that's what we'll say. Uh, but really quick, I do want to go through the team and recap really fast. I did a lot of grinding, if you guys watched, um, <clears throat> and then we're gonna have a question at the end of it. I just want to let you guys know I want your opinion on something. Uh, but we've got, I got everyone up to level 40. Uh, that was, that took forever. It only ended up being about four or five minutes worth of grinding. Uh, <clears throat> but in, re in my time, it took over an hour, it's like an hour and a half or something like that. But at any rate, we've got Hilda the, uh, we've got Hilda the Graveler, sorry, with Bulldoze, Smackdown, Tackle, and Rock Blast, one of our new members. I can't evolve her though, because she's a trade evolution. So let me know, let me know down in the comments also, if you think it's fair uh, that I, if I try to find a way to hack, hack Hilda into evolving, uh, otherwise, I might have to replace her eventually, but uh, we've got Lysithia, the new member. Uh, she is a <clears throat> Musharna with Psychic, Hypnosis, Calm Mind, and Nightmare. we got Raphael, the Hit... No, I can't remember these names right. Hariyama. The, Raphael the Hariyama with Vital Throw, Smelling Salt, Ice Burn, and Hurricane. we got Shamir. Uh, you guys remember Shamir, the Octillery with Surf, Aurora Beam, Psy Beam, and Blue Flare. We've got Rhea, the Shell Gun with Dragon Breath, Ember, Headbutt, and Zen Headbutt. And last but not least, we've got Hanuman, the Superior with Leaf Tornado, Leech Seed, Mega Drain, and Cut. That is it. <laughs> and that was a crap ton of grinding. But uh, the question of the day, and something that I'm... If you didn't watch the grinding montage, you didn't get to see. But um, in, in the midst of grinding, <laughs> I actually ran into two shiny Pokemon. Uh, one being... Uh, the, let me find the other one first. One being this Wurmple. <clears throat> uh, not really a great Pokemon, but it was shiny, so I caught it. Uh, and then also this Aggron, which I really kind of want to use. <laughs> Mostly because I can't evolve Hilda uh, without hacking the game, which, you know, is an option. But uh, yeah, I named it Catherine, and... I want to use it real bad, but uh, I, I won't if you guys don't think it's fair. Um, also, like I said, I've already I've already uh, grinded Hilda up, but let me know your in your opinions. There is there is a rule typically in um, Nuzlocke's called the shiny claws, and uh, people will let themselves use shiny Pokemon that they've encountered while journeying. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. Oh no, you you can keep the. Yeah, no, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. I don't know what I'm doing. Hilda can give the lucky egg. But today we are going to take on Dragon Spiral Tower. <clears throat> but yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you think we should follow the, the Shiny Claws or if we should uh, just just keep our Aggron boxed for now. Uh, but at any rate. Uh, hey, Quill! I need to address why I'm wearing a mole costume, but we'll get that that in a second. Oh, hi, Quill. And you must be Bianca. The other professor. I'm the other Professor Juniper. Professor Juniper, who gave you the Pokedex, is my daughter. Nice to meet you, Professor. Thanks to Professor Juniper, I got I uh, got to go on a journey and start in figuring out possibilities for my life. I'm very, very grateful to her. Is that right? Grand, grand. Actually, we should chat later. Cool, Bianca. Here's the situation. Members of Team Plasma, quite a large group, broke through the tower wall and went inside. Bryson and that young man, I believe his name is Charon. Uh... The two of them went after Team Plasma, but... Professor, what's the Dragon Spiral Tower? Ha! I guess you'd be curious. Well, I'll explain briefly. Dragon Spiral Tower has stood tall long, since long before you know it was founded. On the top floor, the legendary Dragon of Pokemon waits for a person pursuing ideals. That's what's said. Are you going in after Team Plasma? It's admirable for, for you to join the fight against Team Plasma, but it's risky too. Uh, don't worry. Phil and Charon are both really, really strong, and they've beaten Team Plasma before, but... I'm not all that strong, actually. I'll admit it. I'm not very strong, but I was thinking if I, it would be nice if I could maybe like stay here and be your bodyguard. Why? Thank you. That makes me feel much safer. Why? She is. What's she gonna do? Like throw uh, Starbucks at her enemies or something? I don't know. Well, Quill, it's up to you. Climb the tower. 
thought I can give you, but I, I, I an old ghetto. That's not gonna help us at all. Uh, still want Kitty Mouse I think I might need to buy some potions and stuff. Let me check really fast. <clears throat> oh, medicine. Hyper potion. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and buy some really fast. Uh, but yeah, the mole costume, right? So today is October 24th, and yesterday was October 23rd, which means it was Mole Day. And for those, those of you who are not scientifically inclined, there is a constant in chemistry that we use. It's called Avogadro's number. And it's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd power. And it's the number, it's basically a, a unit of measurement, right? So like, <clears throat> we measure, we measure distance in miles. We measure, you know, weight in pounds. Moles is a way of measuring how many atoms you have of something, right? So one mole of carbon atoms is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. It's a lot of carbon. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so yesterday, 10 to the 23rd, 10, 23, October 23rd is Mole Day. And so today our chemistry club on campus uh, celebrated Mole Day with uh, mole snacks and mole costumes. All right, sorry about that. I, uh, my, my keyboard dropped and pressed some buttons and then I had to figure out how to fix it, but we should be good now. Um, we're gonna continue on though, sorry. Yeah, but but like it was mole day, so I dressed up as a mole and we had a lot of fun. What are you doing here, friend? Earlier, the gym leader went to the tower. If you're lucky, you witness a legend. That's the goal. All right, so we do actually get an encounter here and I'm kind of hoping that it's something good because I, it's not that I'm trying to get rid of some of our team members, but the fact of the matter is I cannot evolve our, our graveler which is concerning, uh, but we're going to see what we encounter. Oh, well, first the grounds are going to shake. Why not? Is something going on? Wild going on at the top of the tower. All right, I... Quill. You can walk on the fallen comms, too. I'm going after Team Plasma. Do we have the TM for strength yet? Or the HM for strength yet? I don't know if we do. Okay, here's our encounter. It is a coughing... Coffee! Are right, we gonna go ahead and catch this guy right fast? Uh, let's see. Tackle shouldn't take you out, right? Oh, I forgot to turn on. Need to turn back on the, the, the battle animations. I turned them off because I was grinding and that was taking forever. Let's go ahead and hit, a, hit it with a great ball. Alright, awesome. We caught it in one hit. One ball. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, figure out what to name this guy. All right, I went ahead and named this guy after Ash. I'm probably not going to use him, uh, but, you know, we've got a coffin now in case we need it. <laughs> yeah, but moving right along. I don't know if I have... I don't... I'm almost certain... Oh, that's not what I want to do. I'm almost certain that I don't have the HM for strength yet. Uh, I wonder where I get that. Oh, well, it'll... I don't know what I'm doing right now either. Nope, I do not have the HM for, for strength, so that's... Something we'll have to encounter later. Oh, Vaporeon would have been cool, though. Uh, we can go right into Hanuman for that, though. Fight. Uh, we're going to go for the Leaf Tornado. And then follow up with a Mega Drain. Which isn't quite going to be enough. Okay. Cut will be, though. Uh, for options. That's what I was trying to do. Right, right, right. I want to set the battle scene to on. Awesome. All right, let's pick up this Oh, nope, we're gonna go into about another another battle very quickly. What's with all these water types in here? I'm not ready for this. Uh, Hanuman should be able to take this dude on, no problem. With a Mega Drain. Oh, so close. We can cut, though, that'll be nice. Got a Destiny Knot, so that'd be really important if we were going to, uh... Oh... Breed for Pokemon, but of course there's a Nuzlocke, we can't do that. Uh, Hanuman. I really should just lead off with a Hanuman with all these water types in here. Oh, jeez. Leaf Tornado. Okay, can we stop missing, please? Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put Hanuman out first, because... I really don't want to deal with it. More water types. Oh my gosh, I'm really glad that I changed that now. Like, what? I should have come here to grind, but obviously I couldn't. I had 
gotten there in the game yet. We've got a chapel berry. That's super nice. We're going to move right along. Go on up this little incline. I really like this puzzle, and I don't know why. Oh, wait. I went the wrong way. Shoot. Okay. Oh, wait. Let's go down the middle one, I think. Yeah, I wanted that item up there. Got a nugget. Okay, that's that's nice. I'll take a nugget. Okay, there we are. Is that coughing really the only thing we're going to run into the entire time? Oh, wait, I forgot there's more. <laughs> okay, let's see. Quill, I'll hold him here. You go ahead. Gladly. This is nothing, but there sure are a lot of them. Oh, what a complete bother. All right, do we want to lead off with Hanuman? I think I don't want to lead off with Hanuman. I think I want to lead off with Rhea because I'd like to get her involved if I can. She doesn't evolve into level 50, but I'd really like it to be earlier than that. Okay. Perfect. We can just go for the Ember here. Ooh. Okay. That did a lot of damage, but that's alright. And then we can headbutt for the finish. Nice and finisher, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Well, we're gonna switch right into Raphael. Crunch, that's not going to do anything to us. Uh, then we can go right for the vital throw. Nice. Take it right out. That was kind of scary, not going to lie. Yeah, I like having a Hariyama, though. It's super nice. Oh, come on. Oh, by the way, if you're still watching and you haven't liked the video already, you definitely need to because I'm wearing a mole costume. How could you not? I forgot that. I needed, needed to... Needed to let you guys know that. If you haven't liked the video already, you have to now because I'm wearing a mole costume. Alright. These are getting kind of old. These battles are really, really getting annoying. Uh, we should be able to Zen Headbutt here. And take it out. Nice. Oh, I think I might want to switch up for Hariyama just because they can be kind of scary sometimes. And I'm going to give Lithia some light too. Oh no. Come on. No. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. I don't know how that did so little damage when his attack was totally maximized, but I'm not going to complain about it. I, like, maybe Musharna just has that much uh, HP. I know it has a lot of HP and a lot of defense, but I didn't know it was that much. I definitely thought we were done for there, guys, not going to lie. I mean, Hariyama's really slow. The problem is I couldn't just up and switch out, you know? I don't have a ghost type right now. I do like this music a lot. It's really, really good music, and I really should stop speeding up through all of it, but, you know. Oh, come on. Why can I never catch a break? Alright, we're gonna try to Ember, I guess. Okay, good. We got the burn. We got the burn. We got the burn. We got the burn before he could put up the safeguard, which is super nice. Uh, but we should be able to just keep on embering. We cannot take this thing out because then it'll go for the destiny bond just like that. But with the ember going on, we should be fine. Just don't take the darn thing out. Alright, so now what we do is we go and we... I'm sorry, Wobbuffet scare the ever-loving crap out of me. Um... We can go ahead. I'm just going to throw a Pokeball at it. <laughs> don't be a thief. It says don't be a thief, but it's like against Team Plasma. What do you expect? Alright, we're going to throw another Pokeball. I love how it just bounces back. Okay, cool. We took out the Wobbuffet. We did not lose any Pokemon. My heart is happy. Alright. Ray is level 41 now, which is super nice. And out comes a Mantine. I don't really have anything to take on a Mantine, do I? So I think I'm just going to stay in here and Dragon Breath. Go for the Paralysis, which we get, and then we can Headbutt. Oh, I thought we were going to get the Paraflinch. Shup it. Well, that's terrifying a little bit. No, it's not. Just kidding. <laughs> Honestly, okay, Rhea, I see you. Like, I, I was afraid that Rhea was going to not be able to pull her weight, but she's doing just fine. Oh, we're going to put Shamir out front. I'm trying to get everyone their little little time in the sun, you know what I mean? 
Uh, let's see. Oh, we want to. We, we will take items every day of the week. Found a steel gem. That's not going to help us pretty much at all. But you know, there it is. Oh, jeez. I listen. So like, I'm all about games looking good, like this one does for its time. But there's just so much to run through. <laughs> Okay, come on. Let's go this direction. I should be better at this puzzle. Oh, well, I... Protector. Well, that's... That's cute. Problem is, I don't have anything that can evolve with it. Alright. Yeah, I know that the way out is in the other direction, but I just want to get all of these items because... I like items. Items make me happy, and and with everything randomized, the items can be even better. Oh my gosh, if I can run on the stupid pillars the correct way. Okay, so none of those items were worth it, but, you know, we still pick them up. We can sell them if we need to. <clears throat> Alright, let's ascend. I think this is the top floor now. Or maybe not, who knows. Nope, but there is another earthquake. It's shocking! Sounds like there, uh, something is on a rampage on the top of the tower. I bet I know what that is. Ooh, we got some more mail! We're gonna have so much mail by the end of this playthrough. It's finally come! Our Lord M N will be the hero! What? Someone made it clear up here? Now, stop that trainer for our Lord N! Now they're gonna come all and try to, try to attack us. Everyone who isn't Team Plasma is an enemy. Use all your powers to take them out. No one can ever feel as you know us, Team New Dawn. Love this music. Okay, so unknown. That's not scary. That's not scary at all. Out comes Shamir, who can go for a nice and pretty surf. Which is going to be super nice. She just take it out. Yep. And Teddy Ursa. We can take that out with the surf also. Nice. Alright, these these battles are going to go really quick because they're one right after another. Uh, but Psybeam should take this out. No. Oh. 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 Well, that was just a whole bunch of bad things all in a row. We're not about that. We are about a psychic, though. Nice. Okay. Up next. Ooh, we've got a Paris. That's interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, heal up really fast. Okay, the Paris is gonna go for a slash, but in, do I have... I have a Cherry Berry. Nice. In fact, I think Shamir used to hold a Cherry Berry, but not anymore. Uh, here we can go for the Aurora Beam. Should take it out. Yep, nice. Mischievous. Uh, well, I guess it's gonna take it. I keep trying to use Surf, but I keep hitting A too fast. Uh, we can't go for Surf here, though. That does a lot of damage. Okay, I don't like that. Okay. Hurtier, I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to hurt you with, with my little octopus here. So we're going to switch on into Raphael. Go for the vital throw. And everything's good. Okay, awesome. They all back off. We're going to continue on up the stairs. This is the top of it. Listen to that music. You can tell this is the top of the tower because it's just so intense. All right, let's see it. Ooh. I love these cutscenes. There it is. Zekrom itself. The first time I played through these games, I played through White, and so I caught Zekrom. I, I always have liked Zekrom better than Reshiram. 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 I think they're both super unique, and I like them a lot, both of them. What do you think, Quill? How do you like the powerful form of the Pokemon who appears before and fights beside the hero that will lead the way to the new world? A new world. Now, Zekrom and I will head to the League and defeat the champion. This will be the last of the Pokemon battles that hurt Pokemon so. A world for Pokemon alone. It's finally going to be reality. And then Zekrom just kind of pieces out. If you want to stop me, you must become a hero as well. That's right, when Zekrom's counterpart, Reshiram, recognizes you will finally be even. We will finally be even, and then you can just try to stop us. Well, what will you do? My prediction, for the future that I see is true, you'll meet Reshiram. 
the Pokemon you believe, who with you believe and use so strongly, will you be the one who uh, interferes with my formula for changing the world? If you want to protect the bonds between Pokemon and people, you must re search for Reshiram. I'm sure it's waiting for you in the form of the Lightstone. <gasps> Wait, wasn't that that rock at Nimbasa City? I bet it was. Quill, did you see what just flew off right now? How could this happen? Why? Was that guy N right? Why was he with a legendary Pokemon? He couldn't really be the hero, could he? Also, I could hear him tell you to search for the other legendary Pokemon. Calm down. First, we must go back. There's more. It is more important to decide. I can't remember. I didn't read what he said. It's okay, though. <laughs> Astounding. I never would have imagined that the legendary dragon type Pokemon would return now. The guy called N. Team, Plas Team Plasma's boss apparently reawakened the legendary Pokemon. He told Quill to look for the other legendary Pokemon, then flew away. Huh? There are two legendary dragon type Pokemon? Yes, there sure are. I think that's Juniper. No, it's Alder. Whoops, I gave Alder Juniper's voice. Why, if it isn't Alder, it's been a while. Have you been well? No time for chit chat. Those violet flashes of lightning that shot from the tower. That Pokemon has the power to destroy the world. If it's on Team Plasma's side and Team Plasma tells everyone to release their Pokemon, no matter whether it comes from fear or aberration, the world can't help but change. It will become a world where po people are separated from Pokemon. Right. Moreover, the boss of Team Plasma, N, who reawakened Zekrom, apparently said to look for the other Pokemon, went to look for the other Pokemon Reshiram, said to- I don't know why you guys keep watching this, I can't speak. Like, uh, If I remember the myth, Zekrom's power powerful electricity alongside with the other Pokemon devastated Ancient Unova in an instant. Even knowing that, N is still trying to wake Pokemon- Uh-huh! Isn't it dangerous to bring back Pokemon that, that powerful? Miss, you're a very kind person. Still, I don't know if the other Pokemon will be able to stand up to it, because no matter what, it's a legendary being. I don't like the idea of taking orders from N, but searching for that dragon that stone might not be a bad plan. We certainly can't let Team Plasma reawaken both of them. Since I've traveled all over Unova, I have, the, I have an idea of where I might be. Let's head to the Relic Castle. Quill is going, I'll see, I'll leave you. Yeah, then I'll go with you. They're gonna go look around Tiger Spiral or something. I think I understand better now. Being able to do something for Pokemon, for some somebody at a time like this, is strength. I'm sure of it. And my strength is something that is given to me by Pokemon. Okay, champion, let's hurry. Uh, Quill, this has turned into a big deal. It's so confusing. I don't know what to do. Are you going to go to Relic Castle, Quill? It's past Route 4 in the desert. And here's where the Relic Castle is. Yep, yep, yep. I'm definitely probably going to go there. So, like... Yeah, but we're going to go there in the next episode. That will do it for this one. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Uh, don't forget to comment down below. Let me know if it, if you think it's all right to use Agron or if you think I should just keep it in the box. Um, I don't know. I don't know where I stand on that whole situation. But uh, yeah, like, once again, thanks for watching. And as always, my friends, see you next time. Happy Mole Day, by the way.